Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, I'll show you how easy it is to apply over a dozen themes that ship as part of the DevExpress ASP.NET subscription to individual controls within your web application. In the next few minutes, you'll discover that DevExpress makes it incredibly easy to create elegant applications that can be customized at both design time by you or at runtime by your end users. So. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new project. I'm going to select the DevExpress ASP.NET web application. This will bring up the ASP.NET project wizard. I'll create the default custom layout. OK, now I have a full web application. And let's take a quick look at this. Here it is. You can see the nav bar, a menu, and we even have a grid. Now let's see how easy it is to change or apply a new theme to this. All DevExpress ASP.NET products can be styled individually or as a whole. If I wanted to change the theme for the entire site, I can go to the web.config and under the DevExpress theme section, I can change the theme from DevX to something like Aqua. Now when we run this, we'll immediately see the Aqua theme applied to all DevExpress ASP.NET products on the website. Let's say I want to give the user a choice. I want to add a drop down here that lists all the DevExpress ASP.NET products so your users can choose for themselves. Let's look at how easy that is. Go to the root.master file and go down to the login control. Now, if I look at this in design view, I can see the login control is on the right hand side. So I can just drag and drop an ASPX combo box here. But I do want to make sure it lines up with this control. So let's go back to the source view. And inside of the login control div, we'll create a little table. We'll create one row and three cells. In the first cell, I'll write theme. In the second cell, I'll add the combo box, which I can find under DX common controls, and I'll drag and drop the ASPX combo box in the second cell. And finally, in the third cell, I'll add the login view. Let's go back to the design view, and we'll see that both our controls are nicely aligned. Now I could data bind to the database, but I'd rather bind it to a list of DevExpress ASP.NET themes. First, let's set a couple of properties. I'm going to change the name to CB Themes. And I'm going to set its auto postback property to true. This will allow it to post back every time a change is made inside of the list of items. Now we'll go to the code behind for this file, and to data bind this, I'll call cbthemes.datasource. And we'll bind this to a method of the DevExpress themes assembly that returns a list of themes. I'll call devexpress.web.aspxthemes.themesproviderx.getthemes. This shows the versatility of DevExpress controls, in that you're allowed to bind to almost anything that returns an I enumerable interface. Now I'll call cbthemes.databind, and let's see this in action. OK, we have our combo box that returns a full list of themes. Right now, if we change a theme, nothing occurs. And that's because we haven't set the theme yet. So let's do that. In order to set the theme, I'm going to go back to the root.master here and click on the combo box's smart tag. This gives me a list of items that I can quickly set, like columns, items, or buttons. I'm going to go to client side events and set up the selected index changed event. Here I'm going to set a cookie to store the theme the user chose. I'll use the library called ASPX client utils. I'll call the set cookie method, save the cookie as theme, and we'll call s get value. s references the sender here, which is our combo box, and its value will be the name of the theme the user has chosen. Click OK and save the file. Now to apply the theme, go into the global ASX file and add it to the application pre-request handler execute method. The call sign for this is similar to others, so I can copy this code and change the name of the method here. To set the theme, I first have to get it from the cookie. So I'll call HTTP cookie and create a variable called theme. Now from the request object, we'll call request.cookies and load the theme cookie variable. OK, so setting the theme is really easy. At runtime, we call the devexpress.web.aspxclasses.aspxwebcontrol.globalTheme, 
and we simply set this to C theme. I want to make sure this theme isn't null, so I'll do a quick check. If this is null, we're going to return default. Otherwise, we'll call C theme dot value. And that's it. Let's see this in action. As you can see, when we go to change the theme, it's applied immediately to the entire website. I can choose glass, black glass, or one of the office themes, and it's applied instantly across the site. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.